I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. We're here at this gorgeous NoHo7 theater here in Hollywood, California. We're here celebrating the premiere of so many amazing films. There are 31 films opening here today, including Toy Story 4 and Child's Play, and 29 short, remarkable films that also have an opportunity to actually get entered for the Oscars, for the Academy Awards. How amazing is that? That this awesome place is giving a platform for filmmakers. It feels like the dream is just so close to these filmmakers. You know, you're just one step away and we're so excited to be here today, including the filmmakers at RNF's Maturing Youth, which is actually screening here today. And not only is this an opportunity for the filmmaker that's just beginning, this is also opportunities for filmmakers and Broadway producers and authors of amazing creations of illustration and poetry and story and wow, there's just so much talent in there tonight. I can't wait to get in there and interview these guys. We'll have an opportunity to talk to Derek Quick of Four Walt Distribution Company. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Janet Miranda with News Entertainment. We are here at the beautiful Lumley NoHo 7 in North Hollywood. In North Hollywood with Candace Cornell. I'm the filmmaker. Candace, what brings you to this theater today? Uh, so my short film, The Just, um, is screening along with all these other talented filmmakers uh, for this week um, through Fourwald, um, which is a wonderful opportunity for us to uh, screen our work for people in this area. Can you tell us a little bit about your film? Yeah, I can. Um, it is a crime drama. It's called The Just. Um, it is basically about a guy who breaks into a house and uh, the homeowner essentially holds him captive. And when the police arrive, there's a case of some kind of mistaken identity. And uh, what goes awry after that is uh, kind of a, yeah, like a, it confused the, the robber with the homeowner. Is there anything you want to tell me, son? Anything you want to confess? Give me your wallet! No. A couple months ago, my girl and I got in this fight. And she's a good mom. But... I don't have anything left to offer them anymore, so... I need to report another breaking up in Buena Vista. for an eye makes the whole world blind, right? Are you the director and the filmmaker and the writer on the film? Yeah, I'm the writer and director of the filmmaker. Um, I worked with a really wonderfully talented cast and crew um, that made my job really, really easy. Um, I have a writing background. Uh, I studied uh, screenwriting at UCLA and also I have a master's um, from Emerson College uh, in Boston. Um, so I started my career mainly as a screenwriter. Um, and I've worked at Sony for several years, um, working in film and TV. So what made you write this film? What inspired you? You know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, two, a two pronged answer. The reason I made this, this project is, is kind of the, the, the bigger answer. Um, the inspiration for the, for the film came from a story that I'd heard from a friend of a friend about a guy who broke into his house and he kind of turned the tables on this robber. I thought it was such an interesting story and I kind of took it a step farther. Um, you know, because I thought that the aftermath of that was really interesting. Um, but the reason I made it, I made this film as a whole, is just that as a female director, I really wanted to show that women can tell darker stories. Um, that was really important to me. I've, I, I love rom-coms, I love lighter material, I've written plenty of them, but um, I wanted to, to create something that was a little dark, a little grittier, a little something that, you know, you don't really see women creating so much right now. Um, to kind of change change that narrative a little bit. Wow, that's amazing. Women's <laughs> empowerment, that's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of it going on right now. <laughs> so if you had to choose like a woman director for an inspiration, who would you choose? Um, I think, it, it's again, it's a very different genre, but Nancy Myers is definitely um, a very inspirational female director to me. Um, Catherine Bigelow, of course, she's done a lot of, a lot of, you know, she's done some darker material as well, some heavier kind of male, male dominated, um, and she's been more, she's worked in that kind of male dominated genre. Um, so I'd say those two are, are definitely women that I. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So tell me, um, when you were writing this film, can you tell us a little bit about what your process was like? 
Um, the process of writing the project. Um, you know, sometimes when I look back on things that I wrote, I don't even remember when I wrote it because it kind of just all came out in different ways. I don't, I'm not like a write every day kind of a person. I know that's often what you're told to do is like write a page every day, but I don't, I don't really work that way. I, I kind of work more in inspiration. So I'll sit down and write a big chunk at once and then I'll think about it for a few days and then I'll write another chunk at once. So it kind of comes out in, in, in different segments. When did you discover that you wanted to be a filmmaker? You know, I always thought I was just going to be a, a screenwriter. I thought I was just going to kind of stay behind the scenes and, and, and write. Um, and then once I had this, you know, I had the script, people that I was working with said, well, why don't you make this? And I didn't really know if it was possible. I didn't know how to really do it. I didn't have the money to do it. And um, I just, I, you find a way. And, and now that I've done it, I'm, it's, it was such an amazing process. It was such an amazing experience that um, I can't imagine not doing it. I, I initially had a male director. I was going to have other people produce it and direct it and directing it myself was so rewarding that that's when I realized I, I, I could be a filmmaker and I, that I wanted to be a filmmaker. That's such a beautiful, <laughs> inspirational story. Thank you. Can you tell us, Candace, a little bit about the editing process? Were you also the editor on the film? I was not, but as the director, I, I led the editing. Um, I worked with a really wonderful editor who's done some great, great projects. Um, and it was really easy. It only took, you know, it only took a few days. Um, he had really great instincts and, um, it was really, it was a really easy process to edit, to be honest. Can you also share with the world, did your process change in the editing room? Did your vision change in the editing room at all for the film itself? Um, a little bit, a little bit. Um, yeah, a, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know how have more to say than that, but yeah, a little bit. That's okay. We don't have to have all of your secrets just yet. <laughs> so uh, if you were going to give some inspiration to the world about being a filmmaker, could mm -hmm. you share some words to inspire some people? Yeah, I would say definitely um, as, as, a, as a woman um, to not be discouraged because I, I know I've worked with so many wonderful women who have been really frustrated by um, seeing their male peers rise and feeling like they, they don't have the same opportunities. And I think that that narrative is really changing. And this is the best time, I think, for women so far in entertainment. So I think that it's only going to get better and easier from here for women. High five, Candace. <laughs> yes, go women. Yeah. So before we leave, Candace, can you share with the world where folks can find you online? Me personally? Yeah. Um, Do you have an do you have a website or does the film have a website? The film has an Instagram account, which is um, at the Just Film. And I'm personally at Candace.Cornell. Well, thank you so much, Candace. It was thank so you. great to talk to you. And thank this is you. Janet Miranda coming in with News and Entertainment. You guys can see us at www.newsentertainment.com. And our links are right below. So make sure you like and subscribe. Stay tuned. If you want the scoop on news and you want all the juicy stuff, subscribe, follow us. The links are below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. And you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.